Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play of Happy Birthday! When we left off, um, we found the sister in the bathroom, and the landlady is not actually the landlady. She's a liar lady, is what she is. I don't know what her deal is, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna get to the bottom of all of this. I just need to figure out what the crap is going on. So, I think I need to talk to more people and give them more, I guess, more items, um, to see what they can... I think I've already talked to everyone about everything. Did I talk to you? Yeah, I think I did. Alright, so let's just start showing you stuff. I'm going to start showing people stuff and seeing if I can find anything interesting. When I do, I'll cut back to it so that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do the one by one showing of items. Because that's going to be just boring and awful. So, here we go. Let's see if the dad can give me anything interesting. So come to find out, I actually hadn't talked to the dad about where he's been this whole time. So, because I got a statement from him, so I'm going to go ahead and actually reselect this. Um, I reloaded the game so that you guys will actually see this for the first time, along with me, because I was just clicking, I thought I'd already done it, and then he gave me a piece of evidence, so hey, that's something new. Okay, can you tell me about the rest of the evening? From the time you arrived here up until the incident, what were you doing? We arrived at the mansion around 4 p.m. There were many more guests earlier in the day. I spent the majority of the evening talking with them. We had dinner, cake, and presents at roughly 6 p.m. If memory serves correctly, after that, it was right back to talking. We all drank a bit. Even after the majority of the guests left, I still relaxed in the main lounge. Our nanny and that wretched boy who hangs around my girl were there too when I heard the gun. I never actually saw either of my girls much during the party. I should have been more diligent. It was Anna's birthday after all. And now, I won't see her again. Yeah, what were you doing just chilling out on your daughter's birthday, not even talking to her? You dope? Okay, did you notice anything unusual in the way Anna behaved recently? How was she during the party? Sir? There was... something. I didn't pay much notice to it at the time. Oh lord, how I should've. Please, sir, tell me what it was. It was around 7pm, I believe. I was talking with the rest of the guests when Anna came up to me and asked if we could speak. I don't know what it was about, but I was engrossed in conversation. I can't imagine what could have been more important than my Anna now. I told her to run along. What could she have wanted to tell me? I'm so sorry, Anna. Okay. So everybody shooed her off, didn't they? The uncle did and the father did. Is there anyone who might have wanted to hurt your daughter or your family? Well... My company, it's, um, let's just, let's just say there are certain people who aren't particularly pleased with me right now, but certainly no one here, and those of us who are left are the only ones who were present during the incident, as far as I know. She was close to my brother and her nanny. They wouldn't want to hurt her. The only time, the only one I'm not particularly fond of is my older daughter's boyfriend, but I never saw him. Uh, never saw him as someone capable of hurting my girls. Not like this. A bit seedy, perhaps, but not a murderer. I'm at a loss. Okay, cool. We got some new information? What's happening? I've collected quite a bit of info. Now, I doubt that I'm going to get uh, be able to get much more from anyone here. Maybe it's time I try and cut the suspects list in half. With everything I've learned so far, three stand out as the most suspicious. The landlady. Um, well, everything. Uh, that's right, and that's not all. There was something else. What was it about her that made her suspicious? Um, well, what else do you want? Is there anything else about the landlady that's weird? Um, this is kind of cool. I like it. Okay. This music. I'm feeling it. I don't, I don't know what else there is about the landlady that's weird. Um. Her statement? Maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Landlady's statement. That's right! Yes, the landlady! No evidence connects her to the crime, but the fact that the others never seem to notice her presence is odd enough. 
She had ample opportunity and has no solid alibi. The remaining two most suspicious people are... Um... Well, that mask was with the uncle. Um, and weren't like the boots his too? Uh, this is what I get for choosing a mystery game. The friend. The sister, her account's weird though. Her, like, cause she's got that bruise. That's not all, there's something else. Okay, um, the stray bullet? No. Okay, her scream. No. Okay. Her location? That's right! The sister. One thing's certain is that she was the one at the scene of the crime. If she's telling the truth, then she's innocent. But if she isn't... Uh, sh Is it the friend? Or the uncle? The friend is weird, but he was downstairs when the shots happened. Right? The uncle, I don't think he has an alibi. The boots were his? Okay. And then the mask, I think. There's... What? There's something else that makes the uncle suspicious? The handgun? No. Everybody else just had two. Um, I'm trying to think of what else it was. What else made the uncle weird? It's not just two? Uh, <laughs> well, let me review the clues then. His statement? That's right. Yes, the uncle. Not only were his boots used during the crime, the mask the killer supposedly was wearing was also found in the room where he rested. Perhaps even more notably, he was alone when the gunshots went off. No one else was mentioned seeing him, so he hasn't saw- Oh, so it's the alibi thing. Okay. Alright, I've narrowed it down to the uncle, sister, and the landlady, but there's one thing I'm lacking in all three of their cases. A motive. Let's see what I can do about that. I'm not quite sure where else to look. <sighs> a shame I have lost the master key. Hello, landlady! You're suspicious. You again? Don't look so dismayed. I'm here to help, you know. I noticed that the doors to the kitchen and dining room were locked, so I did a bit of digging and happened to find this. It's not the master key, but it should get you inside those two rooms. Since they're still locked, I'm taking the liberty of assuming that you lost the ladder. What's with you anyway? Whatever do you mean, dear? Don't play dumb. You're constantly butting into my business, yet no one else has made mention of you. <laughs> Why then, perhaps I'm the mansion's ghost. <laughs> that was a, do a, a doke, dear. Please make haste with the rest of your investigation, alright? After all, the sun is about to come up. <laughs> Seriously? You're weird. Well, at least I got the key to work with now. Let's wrap this up. Indeed, let me save. I actually made some progress. It took me a minute to actually make any progress, but the fact that I did is a good thing. So I can go in here now. Holy gifts! Seeing the victim had no shortage of presents, so they won't do her much good now. They have all gone to waste. She was clearly loved. Ooh, there's an envelope over here. Gimme. What's this card doing all by itself? Open it! There's gotta be money in it. It's a birthday card. Dearest Anna, leave. Or I'll get rid of you myself. I'm not afraid to make this birthday your last. Ooh. Th this is... It's a threat. This murder was clearly premeditated. But why would someone threaten a little girl? Hmm. This scrawl is messy. Whoever wrote it must have been trying to hide their handwriting. Ooh. Awesome. What else can we find? Is that all that's in here? Oh, that's so cool. I don't know anything that's going on with this game, but I love it. What's this? Seems the victim might- Oh, okay, so I they're just gonna say that for everything now. Alright, so I think we found what we needed to find there. And we can go up here now, too? We can. So many broken wine bottles! Like, what kind of party- Like, was everybody just drunk and then they smashed their glasses? 
I don't understand why there's so many broken bottles everywhere. It's so strange. Is there anything here? Any, any poison or... Ooh, there's another thing here. Hmm, what's this document here? It doesn't look like it belongs in the kitchen. Wait, this looks like an inheritance deal of some sort. There's a logo for a bank embedded on the bottom. I'm not one for legal speak, so I'm not quite sure what it says. I think it should make, make it my business to find out. I smell a motive. Why is there an inheritance deed just sitting in the, in the mess room, though? I mean, it's clearly a mess, but... What's the point of that? It seems out of place. My detective senses are tingling. At least I think that's what it is. Otherwise, it may be some kind of medical condition that I need to have looked at. Um, sir, can I show you this inheritance thing? That's... Wh where did you find this? I found it lying on the table in the kitchen. It's some kind of inheritance deed, correct? Th that's right. I was discussing it with your nanny earlier. Or, with our nanny earlier. My nanny! Uh, I must have simply... I must have simply left it there. How foolish. What does it say? Why do you need to know? It's possible that it could be related to the case. I have to look at the situation from every angle. It details what I would like done with regards to my bank account should I pass away. My brother and our nanny get small shares, but it was actually Anna who was to take over the company. Now, I don't know what I'll do. Her sister isn't cut out for it. Not cut out for it. That's right. They were never great to begin with. Uh, and after passing, uh, uh, after the passing of her dear mother, my oldest daughter's grades slipped dangerously low and haven't recovered. Unlike my bright Anna's. Due to her age, it was originally going to belong to the elder daughter, of course. But she'll never be the leader that Anna would have been. I just recently had the bill revised and I plan to tell Anna tonight on her birthday. I never got the chance. I, I see. Interesting. So it's supposed to go to the older sister. Hmm. Threatening card? What is this? Where did you find this? It was lying by the rest of her presence. Who would do this? Who would want to get rid of my poor girl? What bastard wrote this? Whoever it was, I'll... S sir? Anna, why didn't you tell me? Or maybe it was me who wouldn't listen. Anna, I'm so sorry, Anna. Yeah, she probably did try to tell you, you doof. I think I know who the killer is. I need to go somewhere quiet to think this through. Okay. There can be no mistake. The answer is obvious. The person who killed Anna is... Okay, so can I... Can you be wrong? Like, I haven't really seen, like, a penalty for this. I'm going to assume it's the sister. Because of the will and the fact that her grades were slipping and she lost the, the right to the company. The mask was in the uncle's room, but we don't have any evidence that it was actually worn during the murder. She could have just said it was there because she knew that it was in the uncle's room. And we don't have any other account besides her account on that. So we're relying too heavily on what she has to say. The landlady is weird, but that's all she is, is just weird. Like, there's nothing that proves she's linked to this. Why would she call in me as a detective if she's the killer? Let's go with the sister. All right, let's do this. It was her. Ack! Oh, did I startle you, detective? I'm quite sorry. All I wanted was a glass of water for my dry throat. You were in the bathroom. Just stick your head under the faucet. Did she... Did she hear me talking to myself? Were, were you really talking to yourself? I mean, I was thinking out loud, but I wanted everybody to know what I was thinking. You were in the story, and you probably shouldn't be doing that. You need to be, like, all cool and calm and collected, like in the Japanese anime. It's like in Danganronpa, and he's like, Han la anata da! You know, that's what he says. But this isn't going to work. Come on. It's written across that uh, that disgusted look on your face. If you have something to say, then say it. Y you you killed her. You killed your own sister. Did I now? That's a heavy accusation. And I don't believe you can back it up. I can prove it just fine. 
Whoa, music! Go ahead and try. There's nothing there to prove. I love my sister, you know. I can't imagine what I'll ever do without my beloved little sis. Oh, really? Because I happen to have evidence that suggests your relationship may not have been so rosy after all. Start small. I need evidence that proves uh, that the sisters were at odds. This music is amazing! Okay, you know what? Let me... What? No, no, no! Hang on. I, I was going to review the clues first. Stray bullet, maybe? How small are we starting? Maybe the scrape? Alright, I'm gonna start with the scrape. Dang it. How small are we starting with? The bullet? Oh, I need to prove they're at odds. What am I talking about? Okay, um... So, maybe the deed. I'm a little confused as to what you actually want. The card? Okay. I found this mixed in with Anna's birthday gifts. Someone threatened her. I believe it was you! Take that! Belief is not proof, detective. Nothing points to me as the writer. Hold on for a moment, and you'll see where I'm going with this. There are other pieces of the puzzle that point to a troubled relationship. Okay, now the deed. The deed must be done. No? Um. Okay, well, I'm at a loss then. Her statement? Let me review the evidence, because I don't know what they want me to do. Her scrape? No, I'm still trying to prove that they're that, that they're at odds. Is it their beds? Ah! You claim that you went to bed together at 9, just as you were supposed to, but the beds were made when I checked them. They looked completely undisturbed. Children don't truly make their beds every time they get up to use the bathroom, do they? I'd say that the beds were never used. You were fighting, not sleeping. She was probably afraid of you. Is that all? What makes you think we were fighting? We could have been having a late night slumber party, for all you know. The conclusion that you were fighting stems from everything else. Anna was terrified of you. In fact, I believe that she moved against you first. This is preposterous. Anna would never do anything to me, and I'd never do anything to her. The beds mean nothing, and the note could have been written by anyone. None of it points to me as the culprit. I'm getting to it. We should move on to what happened next. I believe these pieces of evidence tell the tale for us. Okay, so the first one would be her scrape. You had a fresh, unbandaged gash across your cheek when I found you in the bathroom. That's no simple scrape. It's a bullet graze. Th that's... What are you talking about? There were only three, three shots fired total. Her shoulder, her ankle, and her head. Anna took all of them. How incompetent do you think I am? Bullet! Anna was the one to take the gun from your father's bag, wasn't she? Not you. She was scared after seeing the card. She wanted to talk to her father and uncle about it, but they brushed her off. She knew that she had to protect herself. She fired the bullet at you in self-defense before you took the weapon from her. You hit her three times, but she got you once. You got a hold of the weapon somehow. You must have hit or kicked her, but you weren't a great gunman either. You shot her twice before managing to take her down with a third, and even then, you had to stand at close range to hit her head. But you managed it. You had been planned ahead after you saw your sister take the gun. You took the gloves from the kitchen and slipped on your own shoes into uh, slipped your own shoes into your uncle's boots. You dragged your own sister's body into the closet. You likely cleaned yourself up in the bathroom. I doubt he knew what you were doing. But you even went so far as to have your boyfriend cover for you while you prepared. You didn't want to get caught. But that wasn't all in your original plan, was it? You had a few telling issues. Um, okay. Glove prints? There was something odd, almost awkward about the, scene, the crime scene. There were a couple of bloody glove prints left on multiple windows upstairs. Was the killer going to throw the body and the rest of the evidence into the yard below? I think so. 
they clearly tried awfully hard to get those windows open after all. Now, those windows were tough, the rooms were rusted shut, but I believe most adults could still get them open if they tried. But a 14 year old girl? Perhaps not. You were forced to hide the gloves and boots under the bed, but the body wouldn't fit, so storage closet it was. The amount of blood also suggests that it was dragged slowly by someone weak. You no longer had time to escape, you had to hide in the bathroom. You had a bit of a hard time with the whole thing, didn't you? But, but what about the mask? Don't forget about the mask. The killer was wearing it, but it wasn't found anywhere near the crime scene or me. Heh. <laughs> What's so funny? The mask was never worn by the killer. Uh, don't forget it was you who told me about the mask. All I have is your word for it. And since you're the killer, and then make no mistake, you are. It clearly was never used. Ah! You knew that your uncle was planning to sleep in the living area. You took the mask from Anna's gifts and planted it there beforehand for a bit of insurance, if need be. Tell me then, Mr. Detective, what motive would I have? Even if I weren't joined at the hip, Anna was still my sister. And that's just it. Eh? She looks nervous. I bet she's praying that I haven't found it. This is the final nail in the coffin. The motive. Oh, let's do it. Let's just slam it right in her face. Where did it go? There it is. I found this on the kitchen table. Your father was going to announce it tonight. Uh, but you happened upon it and read it first, didn't you? It says that you're no longer your father's heir. You were already jealous of your sister, weren't you? When you saw this, you snapped. You planned and executed the murder. You murdered Annabelle, your little sister. <laughs> you weren't supposed to find that, you know. I locked the doors as soon as I got out of the bathroom. It was easier than hiding it, but I guess it wasn't enough. You probably should have just thrown it into like the fireplace or something. She has the master key in her hand. She must have pickpocketed me in the bathroom. Anna deserved it. She killed our mother. She ran into the road. She would have been the one hit, but mother pushed her out of the way instead. She killed her. She killed the mother who loved me and left me with the father who doesn't. That's not true. Your father was worried sick. He loves you very much. He'll be devastated. <laughs> not in comparison to Anna, he doesn't. I was always the afterthought. It was always my dear. Darling, bright, beautiful, lovely, intelligent, sweet, perfect little Anna. Well, no more. His perfect little Anna is dead. The tip of that key suddenly looks rather sharp. You were wrong about one thing, though. I hated Anna, but I did love her, too. When I wrote the card, I wanted her to run away. I didn't intend to kill her. But when I saw how she was afraid of me, when I saw grabbed that gun and huddled in the corner of the bedroom something came over me i thought as i might as well prove her right ack the key she, she stabbed me but but it doesn't hurt there was no blood the gash it's already healed what what witchery is this what what happened it doesn't hurt at all. G ghost! Ghost! It's true! There's a ghost! Ghost? <gasps> no way. It, it can't be. You're... And... No? And... No? Hey, Mama, look! There's our bus! We're on the wrong side of the street! Anna, stop! Come back! That's the middle of the highway. But we'll miss it. I don't want Anna. Mama. Ma, ma. It's a dead end. Ack. Please, please don't. Sleep well, sis. That's right. Of course. I'm Anna. Say what? I was murdered 10 years ago. How did I get back here? I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sis, I don't know what came over me. I can hardly believe it myself. I'm... I... I screamed when I pulled the trigger. I cried in the bathroom even though I tried not to. It wasn't like I wanted to be found right then. I'm sorry. But please don't kill me. You're gonna make our father lose both of us, aren't you? Huh? Oh god. What? Why am I Anna? And what? Huh? Am I supposed- She's my sister! But she shot me! And she stabbed me! Oh god... I'm sorry, I have to turn her in. The truth is the truth, like, no matter what. I have to turn her in. Sob. I still can't believe I'm sorry, sir. N no Now perhaps my living daughter can get the help she needs. And now, perhaps, my Anna can be at peace. For that, I thank you. It's a shame that the police had to get involved, but I suppose there's no other way. She'll be in jail for a long, long time. I just can't fathom how my girl could do this. H how could a child of mine... Just make sure she knows that you love her, too. But after what she did to Anna, I'm sure that Anna forgives her. And I'm sure that she wants both of you to be happy. Get the help for her sister. Keep on cherishing each day. Work on bringing the family closer together. That's, what she would That's how she would want to be honored. Live for her, too. <laughs> You're right. You're right. That's exactly what she'd say. Thank you for everything. You're wise beyond your years. It's nothing. It's just... I know what it's like to lose someone. I'm sorry. Please, be happy too, alright? I will. Well, I have to be going. Everyone else is already waiting outside. You know, if Anna had gotten the girl up, I think she would have become someone like you. Thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye, Dad. Weird. M Marjorie. So you remember me again. I'm glad. Of course I do. I'm not sure how I ever forgot. You're like my mother after all. Marjorie, what's going on? This all happened ten years ago. My sister was never caught. Why are we here? Spirits aren't bound by time. Without flesh to bind us, we're free to walk through the years as the living are through the physical realm. But that didn't make up for the agony of remaining trapped inside this gloomy old house. A place where we can only walk at night. A prison. For me, it was the regret of my lost daughter that kept me trapped here. For you, it was the way your, sis the way your sister simply walked away. For your 20th birthday, I thought we should do something rather special. I took you back 10 years, to the day you became trapped here with me. Your memories got a bit messed up during the journey, but it couldn't be helped. I think it was necessary. If you hadn't solved the crime on your own, it wouldn't have held the same meaning. Time isn't static. You've changed the past. You've uncovered the truth behind your own murder and decided to do uh, what to do with that truth. Did I do the right thing? That's something you have to answer yourself. But I'm so very proud of you. Spirits don't have to age. You could have remained the little girl you died as, but you blossomed into a beautiful young woman under my care. I raised you. I feel like I'm finally at peace, too. Ah, where are you going? We can finally leave the house. We can move on. Can't you feel it, too? Come with me, dear. I want you to meet my daughter. And I'm sure your mother is waiting for you, too. <laughs> I would like to say that you kept her waiting long enough, but with what you've changed now, I suppose you haven't kept her long at all. Follow me. And happy birthday, my dear. Hmm. 
<laughs> Given the circumstances, I guess this is the best gift I could have hoped for. Mother, I'm coming. That was awesome! Like, I really, really like that. Like, it was her birthday. That was her birthday gift. It was really cool. Um, wow. I, I kind of hope that they do continue, like, using Anna as a character. Um, because this could definitely be, like, an origin story. And she could become, like, an even greater detective or something like that. Um, if they do make another one, I kind of hope they give you, like, a, a risk-reward factor for, like, the clues and everything. Because, like... You know, maybe it's because I've been playing like Danganronpa, but you get penalized for doing the wrong thing. And as much as this kind of gave you the freedom to not have to deal with that, I just feel like it, it would have put a lot more pressure on me to not just throw stuff out there and see what's stuck. Um, I am curious, though, to see what happens if you choose not to turn her in. So I'm going to jump forward and we'll see what happens when I choose not to turn my sister in. Um... Because I think it's going to give me a very different outcome. And then we can see which one was the better option. Okay, I'll be back. I still can't believe I'm going to do this. Why am I going to let her go? It's not going to resolve anything. Here we go, though. Don't turn her in. How is this going to change the ending? I'm sorry, sir. I've been guess investigated from every angle that I could. But I don't believe that the culprit is anyone here. I did see who I thought was the landowner, after all. Perhaps the culprit managed to sneak in and out of the mansion. Right. I understand. I didn't want to get the police involved, but I suppose there's no other option. I will find the monster who did this. Mark my words. Just don't let it haunt you too much. Anna wouldn't want that. I know. I know, but I won't let this go. I won't stop searching until I get, uh, I get to drag them down to hell myself. But be happy too, alright? All of you. That's the best way to honor her. Remember how she lived, not how she died. Anna. You, you worked hard. You did everything you could. And most importantly, my living daughter is safe. You made sure she was brought back to me. For that, I thank you. Sir, everyone else is already outside. I should go. You know, if Anna had gotten the girl up, I like to think she would have become someone like you. Thank you, and goodbye. Don't you make me sorry. If you ever hurt anyone else, if you ever hurt anyone else, I'll haunt you until the day you die. I don't let the family fall into despair. Work to bring everyone back together again. Help make dad and everyone else happy. If you do that, if you do that, I'll forgive you. S sis, I go. I don't want you to s I don't want to see you anymore. I'm sorry. Goodbye, dad. M Marjorie. Yes, I remember you. All right. Are you going to say anything different now? Uh sister was never caught. Okay. Yep, we all know about this. But see, now we can't leave. Because we don't have a resolution. Or are we still able to go? You've changed the past, which I didn't really. I, well, I mean, I guess I learned who killed me, but I would know that if I was her. Is this it? But I am so very proud of you. Yeah, you told me about this too. Cool. And now we can leave, I guess. Either way. Yep, we can leave. So it doesn't look like anything else changes. Which is, it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice. Like, you have that option. You know. Like, there's no right or wrong. Like... We know the truth. We know that she got away with it. And we can choose to reveal who the killer was. Or stay with that information and just kind of let things be the way they were. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, if you were in Anna's shoes, what would you do? 
Would you put your sister in jail and leave your father completely alone? Like he has, like his wife is gone, his other daughter is gone, but your sister did kill you, which is kind of rough for anybody to kind of swallow that pill. It's a bit tough. Anyways, it was a really, really fun game. I'm glad I played it. I'm glad we kind of mixed it up a little bit, did a change of pace and kind of just refreshed everything, you know, because I, I'm playing Danganronpa. I've got a ton of other series that I'm going to continue, like Danganronpa 2, and then there's another episode, of course, Fighty, uh, Blood Drive, I think. So there's a bunch of, like, longer series that are coming out, and I don't want people to get bored with the content that's on the channel. I, I don't think you guys are, but it's just one of those things that you constantly think about when you finish a game, like, what should I do next? What should I play next? So I'm going to try and mix it up. Um, I may put in some goofy videos from time to time for those of you that do enjoy that. I'm not quite sure what kind of schedule I'm going to do for that yet. But anyways, Happy Birthday was an awesome game. I really do hope they make a, uh, a sequel or at least, you know, try to continue the story because it was really, really cool. And I really enjoyed it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. Something's weird about your state. It really is. Did you see your sister much during the party? Did anything seem off with her? I didn't actually see her much before bed, I'm afraid. I was busy with my own things. Boyfriend! Ah, uh, what? No. Anyways, had I known that this would be my last night with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motives. Is there anyone who might have wanted to hurt your sister or your family? No. Not, not as far as I know, at least.